everybody and welcome back. Uh, play the episode. We're continuing our binge of playing this series. Did Sarah Max's show have an opening, or did, did, did the... Yeah, did it did. Okay. Is it similar to this, or it, no. do the game, does the game have... No, 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 it's, it's different. Oh, I mean... No, but it's definitely character. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Situation comedy. Double Jeopardy backstroking in butterscotch. We're on our way. Who was it? The Girl Scouts lawyers again? That was the commissioner. <clears throat> you will never uh... guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Stiller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? Surely you jest. She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. Wait, are we playing I don't normally Oprah? endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly. I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away, or at our earliest convenience. Great, I've been itching to bust some skulls since they cancelled my so-called life. Anybody home? Guess not. I wonder if the cheese is still. Stop. Oh. What the? Oh, it was a wig. Lady Culture's whole... hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh so enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. Oh. I don't think that's a wig, Danny. <laughs> yeah, no. After Matt said the yep. Sam. Everything good on TV? Welcome back, America, to day three and a half of my most special episode ever. You don't want to miss any of our exciting guests coming up this hour. Plus, everyone in the audience is going to be getting a lifetime supply of non-dairy creamer. We don't need non-dairy creamer. We need sleep. Oh, I see. You were all thrilled when I gave you cars, then all expense paid vacations, and then home entertainment centers. But now, after I worked so hard and sacrificed so much, you'd rather sleep? It's all about you, isn't it? I guess nothing I ever do is good enough for you. Maybe. Maybe we'll start using non-dairy creamer. Someday. That's more like it. You see? There's lots more fun to come, so stick around, America, and sit up straight. Nobody trusts a slouger. Good old TV. It's the only way I still feel well-adjusted. Looks at me who's slouching. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, you little shit. You slouching mother. Nothing useful in here. How ironic! I guess there's nothing else to pick up or something. You know, just... Yeah, no, it doesn't seem like there's anything. Yeah. like candy, but I'm pretty sure it's fish tank gravel again. I've had worse. <clears throat> What's up? What? Samuel! Maximilian! What the? 
Oh, you're probably wondering how I know your names. Not really. Psst, it's me, Bosco. Yeah. My God. What's with the slanted soup strainer, Bosco? Bosco? <laughs> I know not that moniker. I am Lord Reginald Rumplebottom, Earl of Dukedom, the third. Sam, what language is he speaking? I'm not sure, Max, but I think it might be English. <gasps> My good. No, really. What made you convert to British? Everybody's got an infamy, that's why. Yeah, we heard. Well, I had to get a disguise to throw him off the trail. <laughs> They'll never find me now. They wouldn't even know where to begin to look. Clever clogs. What sick forces of evil are bedeviling you this time? It's the skin bodies, man. They're after me. Skin what? bodies? Sounds like a pack of belligerent nudists. Oh, no. The skin bodies are like those horrible hairless cats, but ten times worse. <laughs> sure they're not a hundred times worse? Yeah, maybe a hundred times. Maybe a million. These so, skin bodies, what exactly are they doing to you? They're still in my... I mean, pinching my shaving cream. Of all the things of yours they could pinch, why the shaving cream? So they can shave their bodies, of course. Of course. Yeah, wait, what happened to B-Tez? Didn't you have Not something to, to knock out people? Why isn't your fancy pants defense system stopping these skin bodies? Well, after the whole video delivery conspiracy, I figured I'd better build something to keep people from bringing stuff into my store. So? So, I needed to borrow some of the high-tech detecting parts from b -tads. Meaning nothing's stopping people from taking stuff out of the store anymore. <laughs> Dash it all! Right. I knew I forgot something. We want to buy something. Hmm, yes, hmm. Quite so, quite so. What have you got? Well, there is still one can of shaving cream the blooming skin bodies haven't gotten yet. Oh, yeah, I love shaving. That's funny. I've never seen you shave. I didn't mean myself. And I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. What peculiar device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? <laughs> it's the latest in Bosco Tech Innovation. A delightful invention I like to call a chemical-based voice modulator. I voice bet you modulator. ten bucks What's it's that? just a helium balloon. I don't balloon. believe it's self-explanatory. Eh. We don't really Our have helium time to explain it to ourselves. Why it's got to be something to helium us? because it's well, chemical-based. It yeah, it's definitely helium. Frequency of your voice molecules. Very useful, very useful. We'd like that voice modulator. That will be 30 shillings. Yeah, I left our shillings in my other pants. How much in dollars? Uh, let's see here. Uh, 30 shillings would be about uh! 1 million American dollars. A million bucks? No way are we giving out that many tickets. I think we'll have to find an entirely new revenue stream if we want that voice modulator. Oh, worth every shilling. Trust me. Trust me. Uh, uh, huh? I'll take your last can of shaving cream, old chap. Splendid. Spiffing. Tickety boo. Just bring it to the counter. You know I gotta do it. Yeah, go Do you for have it. any complimentary fresh garlic? Nope. Do you have any fine leather jackets? Nope. Do you have any gumballs the size of your head? Nope. Do you have any plus two plate armor of limitless squeezability? Nope. Do you have any Pez dispensers with the head of infamous Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa? Nope. Do you have any ketchup? Nope. Oh, wait. Got you. Blast. Drat. Dash it all. Do you have any complimentary fresh garlic? Okay, this starts over. Nope. Yeah, there. Nothing for us right now. Indeed. Hands in the air, Bosco. You're coming with us. Good heavens! What is the meaning of this? We're taking you in for masquerading as a man of class and distinction. Who? What the devil? Surely you jest. Yes, surely we do. On the bright side, now you can add the police to your long list of paranoia-induced nightmare <laughs> subjects. Tcha! Piffle! Pish-posh! Thanks, Bosco. Pip-pip! 
Honey Nut Cheerio. Honey Nut Cheerio, that's I could be use a shave. Bomb. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. So it would you stop? Horse oh, off, pig, dog, pig, dog. The skin bodies rule the streets. <laughs> wait, he wait. He wasn't lying. Lying. Oh, no. Nope. did it again. After him. I mean. Who was lying? I honestly oh. was. I wasn't thought he was lying. So. I guess we're going after rats. Maybe. Oh, I'm guessing if you capture him, maybe he'll give you the voice modulator for free. Maybe. Whee! Something like that. You'll never catch us. Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped. Hey. After those rats. do those laughably small wheels move so fast? You'll never catch us! The skin buddies can't be stabbed! Take the wheel, little buddy. I thought you'd never ask! Shoot him, Sam! I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. Missed them. <laughs> the skin no, buddies no. can't be stabbed! You can't dodge my shots forever! Watch it! The skin buddies can't be stopped! Shoot him, Sam! I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. The skin buddies can't be stopped! Hey, the shaving cream! Okay, hold on tight, little buddy. Get his ass! No, I could just keep the shaving cream. Mm. Let's go talk to Sybil. Oh yeah, I wonder if she's still a therapist. Tabloid rag? Oh my god, is she actually not a therapist anymore? Alien love triangle. Oh god. No way in hell. Well, the cactuses have changed. There's a new machine in here. Sam, Max, how nice to see you. I don't suppose you have any candid photos of little green men feeling frisky, do you? Hey, yo. Yes, by which I mean, huh? It's my new career. <laughs> I'm a tabloid publisher specializing in the thoughtful analysis of groundbreaking news of interest to myself and others like me. What's Does she have all the newspapers upside love down? The Triangle Times. So you're a publisher now? What happened to psychotherapy? I've always had a fascination with the suppressed and the sensual, and for telling people too much about both. Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times is a logical extension of all my previous careers. Except maybe Vatican spokesperson. What was it you said about a photo? My new tabloid, the Alien Love Triangle Times, needs a cover photo of an extraterrestrial biological entity, or alien as the unwashed masses calls them, caught getting cozy with some of the locals. Sybil, I'd like the record to show that although I support you as a friend, your latest project makes my skin decidedly crawly. Me too, and I like it. And I like it. We'll be back. Keep watching the supplies. I could keep talking to her, but she's not as interesting in Bosco, honestly. Mm -hmm. That's the way you could do something. Did you, did you check out her new machine? Uh, it's just. I think that's just her, like her newspaper printer. Yeah. It looks like one. I mean. Where are we going, Sam? The TV studio. You're not gonna try the bus. Well, I mean, he's asked for the one million thing. 
I don't think he's gonna reward me something if he's asking for a million or whatever. Just with what? Sit, getting him his well, shit last shaking thing back? The TV station with programs too old to be yeah, contemporary, sure. too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. WARP. Television's so mindless, you Work? can't help but watch. Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. Need a broom, little buddy? I don't use brooms, Sam. I necessitate the use of them. I hope that's just a prop. I hope it isn't. The Barrel Haven. From whence comes this storybook set? Clearly from a work of unparalleled artistic vision and emotional expressiveness. No wonder I haven't seen it. Hey, even the scaffold is just a prop. Yeah, from that show about the TV crew that solves crimes around the station using advanced forensics and overly dramatic reenactments? Come on, who ever heard of a crime at a TV station? Once used for apples, now used for derrieres. Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! But a fool... Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. Sam, I think my hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next! Who's next? You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. Look, hats off for dedication, guys, but I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of- Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name? Myra or Stump? Either and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. I'm creative and she isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? You and Myra- I still have my gun, right? Hate. Look, Myra uh, runs her show her way, and I, I run every other show my way. If she so. doesn't want me on her set, I could care less. You mean you couldn't care less? If you could care less, then you do care some, which doesn't really... No, I was right. I could care less, because I care even less about what you're saying right now. Oh, burn! Go ahead, knucklehead. What are you doing here, anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranchers trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom stardom will finally be ours! Rocketing to fame for the most insubstantial of reasons. That truly is the American dream. We'd like to apply for that instant stardom you promised? You want to audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it, but okay. All right! What do we do? I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Yeller. Tell me you've seen it. I'm not into horror movies. It's the classic boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes! Boy! That is so me! And Sam, you play the dog. Oh. Okay, Sam, ready. I need you to act like you've got full-blown rabies. Understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog! Now, show me, rabbit. Um... Grr. No, dig deep. You should be just frothing mad. Hmm. 
Yeah, well, the guns won't do that. Oh, thank you. Brilliant! Now that's what I call disease. Okay. Thank you, thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the little people who- Zip it. Okay, Max, just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Really? You're sad, you're despondent, you're grief-stricken. Now, show me the emotion. Uh, boo-hoo? You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a national Botox reserve. Grief, I said, give me grief. Uh... <laughs> Perfect. Now, the fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh. Idiot. What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my head. Or I'd have one too many holes in the head. Bravo! <coughs> Bravo! Such realism. Such authenticity. I was convinced you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. The search for the Midtown <laughs> Cowboys is over! You're hired. Where Star is Danny? We can begin filming immediately. Oh Let's my hurry, god! Sam. We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left! Ah, <coughs> uh, I uh... <laughs> All right, people, let's get the stage set up. Celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, right. The crew's working on Myra. Stupid, no talent, fat face. Hell yeah, let's do a sitcom. Oh, good. Weren't you just... I think she just defied the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. Is it, wait, is that a cow? You guys were right for this show. Speaking of which, could what? you perhaps explain the there show? There was a cow behind the background. Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboys, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was oh. pigs. And not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? <coughs> okay. You've got this landlord, sure. Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. Where's the script? Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Oh, okay. Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained. We're play with Both a clown? And all that. Just set him up to do something funny, and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script, and it's really important to work it in, because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to save the line. Me, okay. me, pick me! All right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. What? It's a toothpaste, though. We're as ready you as we're ever gonna be. Let's start taping the show. Huh? Okay, now remember, your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've you got a cow in there. Better Ready? get the good toothpaste. Uh huh. <laughs> They're probably hiding a cow. Goodness, who left this lying here? Let there be light. If I knew enough sitcoms, you usually just put a hat on it and saw a fine. Of course. Hey. There we go. Perfect. Right for the party. My God. <laughs> what? Aha! I know you've got a. Well, well, well. Who's your guest, boys? 
our our chief Abraham Lincoln, the Prince of Upper Thumobus, a cow wear a cow wearing a lampshade. Uh, our chef, of course. Our chef? Oh, yes, he's clearly this a chef. This is the French chef hat. we hired to satisfy yeah, our inexplicable, French, uh, insatiable chef. craving for omelets and duck a la range. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself. Gay Paris? Oh, it was oh, back in my <laughs> army days. Okay, so... Oh, bro. Idea. Oh, um, no. Oh, my God, it worked. Can I make him eat shit? Hey, what's this? Oh, no. Uh, oh. I'm sorry, what was that you said? Uh... Uh, he said, Mo Ge Ga de Pan, a delicious food he that's said, on the floor. Gai Pan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. Whoa, super! I'll try some of that. Where's the plate? I can't help but feel this is all terribly wrong somehow. Aha! No, I think it's right. Hmm, interesting. That's one word for it. Hmm. There's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. This moo moo whatever stuff is really good. Uh, what's it called in hey, English? Yo. Cow pie. Really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like... <laughs> Now? Now. <clears throat> Better get the serious toothpaste. <laughs> Zoom in. And okay. cut. Phew. That was comic gold. The network is going to love it. Naturally. I'll be uh, in my what? dressing room oh. refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. What the fuck? Nice work, you guys. Here's a clip for your he, reel. He, they, she did say he was a great actor. <sighs> Let's get right. the set yeah. back the way no, it was. Absolutely. The best actor. God give him credit. Who's never gonna be a millionaire? Actually, hang on, that sounds perfect. Wow, perfect for our situation. Look, Max, there's the door to my reset. Let's get in there the and liberate our that over there? captive audience. Sam, forget what? the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. Who bliss? Wait, didn't we no, see that in the first Hugh episode? Bliss, inventor of prismatology. Uh, it was the thing we saw on the TV. The power of their personal color spectrums. Right. Oh. Stage magician turned happiness oh. guru. Like we didn't have enough of those already. I want to meet him. Hmm. Fine. Yeah, he he but had he, he, the book, right? pulls another rainbow By butterfly Hugh Bliss? out of somebody's ear. I'm leaving. It's Hi, not Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Yeah, we know. No. And you are Sam and Max, freelance police. <gasps> How do you know? Do you believe in magic? Cause I do. Oh, I hate so, really. you, Bliss. What brings you to WARP? I too am here to meet Myra. <gasps> How do you know we came for Myra? Oh, 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 don't you see? I can now I want my mind. gun. As the resident Doubting Thomas of this crime-fighting duo, I consider it my civic duty to say, prove it. Okay, think of something, anything. 6,373,411.98. No. Sam? Lucky guess. Was it? Think of something else. Hugh Bliss is a big fat charlatan. Was he right? Big deal. Everyone thinks that. Oh? Think of something else. <laughs> Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Well, 
I must have been silently mouthing the words. Really? Think of something else. <laughs> Enough of this ridiculous farce. Stop it. <laughs> do me. Do me. Oh, oh my. And that's unspeakably <laughs> depraved. Yeah. yeah, you got it. <laughs> wow, you're amazing. Dazzle us with a feat of ledger domain, why don't you? Okay, I'll show you the magic of prismatology in action. Pick a color, any color. Ochre, ochre! No, mauve! Uh, Bird sienna! Uh, how about a color I've heard of, hmm? Pick a color, as long as it's red, green, or blue. Wait. I saw the other option on the thing. It said, can we get a photo with you? It's I not easy being green. Oh, but it is, with magic! Can we get the photo for the lady? Ah, uh, I know what you're thinking. Is it real or is it illusion? Oh, I like how I actually changed the color text. Yeah, no, he said he could change anything color, and you know, you don't, you don't distrust a, a clearly cracked out heppy that he can change color. I've seen them turn blue before. No, not what? What? yeah, the, you know, they get all like blue in the face when they don't breathe. Oh, okay, okay. get it? Haha, <laughs> funny. All right, dude. What's even funnier is I can't see blue. Ah. <laughs> Say, Hugh Bliss. What? Can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Splendid no, what? idea. I wish I'd thought of it. Oh, and in fact, I did. He, hence the camera. Now gather round. But how will you take the picture? I magic. Okay. Say chocolate covered puppies. Chocolate, chocolate covered, covered puppies. puppies. Yeah, I I don't. So where's the picture, Magic Man? Oh my. I seem to have misplaced it. Hmm. Check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. <laughs> don't touch my pockets again. Don't touch my anything. Sorry to interrupt your little joy fest, but I've got a situation here. Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh Bliss is here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, our game show host went on Myra hours ago, and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? Yes, it can. Oh, what do I do? When a contestant comes to the podium, just read him a question from the card. Then, when he gets it wrong, insult him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teaches us to love everyone, no matter what. Right, just read the cards. Okay. I still love you. <sighs> I really hate you. Anyways, see you guys next time. Uh, bye.